Strike City at the main. We've got our creative friends from St. Petersburg, Russia, from Hairfucker Studio, Masha, Dasha, <laughs> Kirill, our beautiful model, Oksana. We're gonna start off today, we're gonna do two parts. We're gonna do some creative color, um, which these guys are known for back in their home country and all through social media, doing creative color and painting. Um, then after the color processes, we're gonna come back for a second part. We're gonna do some hair cutting. So Masha, welcome to America. How are you? Um, <laughs> you, you, you having a good time here? Like, yes, of yeah. course. I'm very like New York and uh, hair brand and hair. <laughs> you like New York hair brand and hair. Perfect. So can you tell us a little bit? I know that you're painting some of your creative color in. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what is the outcome here that you're looking for? What is, what is it that you're doing? Can you explain a little bit? Так. Uh, I explain in Russian. You can explain in Russian and then Oksana, <laughs> yeah. our model Oksana can speak Russian and English and she can translate. We have all our international guests in town, <laughs> so we're working with our, our Russian team today. This is Oksana, hey. she's a Russian American, she can translate. So Masha, explain your technique and Oksana will translate. Uh, this is a freehand technique. We choose several colors. They're которые... choosing few different colors. Немножечко думаем о том, как они будут между собой сочетаться в будущем. So they kind of think and like forward how they're gonna combine together. How they're gonna lay. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> so not so much. The, the sectioning, how do they choose the sectioning and where to start and where to put the different colors? How do they choose the pattern? Как вы выбираете паттерн того, как они будут вместе смотреться? Разделение. Разделение. They're just dividing it in sections and basically see how what better goes together. So it's just very freehand, very yeah. visual. I yeah. Improvising. That, uh, <coughs> I, I can tell for them. I think that uh, they use uh, the most comfortable hand position. So they don't think yeah. about the color combinations. They think that uh, it's uh, okay to hold uh, the rest of the hair in one hand and after that uh, with the color. <coughs> no. Now, will all these different colors, will they meld together the way that they're painting? So they, you want everything to combine or does it stay very separated? Все вместе соединится в конце или оно отдельно будет выглядеть цвета? Как получится? They're gonna see how it goes. It's totally improvisation. Yeah, we like improvisation. Yeah, let God. Yeah, also. Ну, на самом деле это смотрится как импровизация, но всегда это достаточно продуманная, как это сказать. So they really know what they're doing. It does look like an improvisation, but there is always like a years of experience under this. <laughs> yeah, that's what, one of the things Kirill was talking about when we were on stage. We had the hair fucker team join us at IBS on stage, and Kirill was talking about once you master the basics, how then you start to use your, your intuition and just let your technique happen. So that's what's happening here. Uh, they're just kind of letting the expression happen as they paint. So we've got some fans tuning in from Mexico. Hi, Wes from Mexico. Someone from Russia. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Or at least someone who speaks Russian. Yeah. So, you know, that's what Hairbrain is, a global community. And basically, you know, about five years ago, we started seeing all these posts popping up from St. Petersburg, Russia. These guys are prolific in creating content almost every day photos, videos, and we, we really took notice of this incredible team and we've got to know them over the years and we're proud to say that this year they're the Hairbrain Video Award of the Year mm -hmm. winners. So they came all the way here from St. Petersburg and last Sunday they won the Video of the Year and they're going to be taking the, uh, the prize money back to Russia and doing more creative things. <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> tell us a little bit about this product. Is, this, um, is it a direct dye? Yeah, it is. It is a direct dye, but this is uh, not the usual type uh, of the colors that um, uh, people mostly use in the West. Because we brought this product from Korea. The name of the color is Antasanin, and uh, there in Asian market now there are a lot of uh, these kinds of products. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that it uh, may be a kind of similar to. Um, Sebastian or Goldwell, like cellophane or something yeah. like that, or yeah. lumen. Yeah, it's like a gel uh, consistency, but uh, 
it holds for a very very long time for example all of this cover she it will be on her head uh, for half an hour until she cut it out yeah. So, it so this is a very long lasting yes, color. Yes, yes. I, I don't believe that it's a, available in the US, but it's a Korean product that you guys are using in yeah. Russia. You have yeah. a lot of success and with. And the name is? Antatsayin. Antatsayin. Got it. And the one, it took and, so and, much time to remember. Yeah. Yeah. I have some more yeah. Russian comments coming in. Привет, Женя. Uh, okay, and uh, another thing is that you have to know about these colors is uh, that uh, the colors doesn't fade to each other. That means that if you use uh, the neighbor color, for example, black... It doesn't blend. Yes, they yes, separate. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, that's yes. what I was asking. Before, because they're right? painting so many colors on top of each other, like uh, Jackson Pollock. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the colors all will they'll stay separated. Yes. They won't, they won't just blend as one. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of your shirt. Let's see Kareel's shirt for a minute there. <laughs> this is kind of cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, inspiration from the shirt. This is yeah. at New York, uh, Times Square. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you have that or you brought it with you or you got no, it here? No, no, I bought it in uh, Prague in Czech Republic. Bought oh. it in Prague, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. So it's very appropriate to wear here. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about your, your salon, your studio. Mm -hmm. How many people work with you? Um, how long have you been open? And just generally about the Hair Fucker Studio, it seems like a very special place. So okay. tell us about it. How do you put out so much content? <laughs> okay, okay yeah, we'll tell about everything. Yeah. So first of all, um, me, Masha and Dasha, we are the oldest uh, crew of Hair Fucker. And uh, we met 10 years ago in the other salon. And um, after that, we decided to open our own business. First, it was the small studio, no name barbershop. And it was at the loft, uh, it was uh, about uh, 20 square meters, a very, very small loft where we worked together. But after that we decided that we need something more than just cutting the hair and uh, coloring hair for clients. We needed something to do for our creativity. And uh, there were so much things that inspire us to do the hair and uh, nobody teached us to how to do it. Because uh, in Russia it is not uh, popular. To it's very traditional. Hairdressing yes. is more yes. classic yes. and yes. traditional. Yes. So you're like rebels. Yeah. Rebels, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we decided to make uh, a photos uh, and videos. First video was made just for fun. It was the video where I shaved my head. Yeah. Like at first of April, it was the foolish day, and uh, I said, "Okay, my friends, this is my present for you. I shave my long hair and make videos of it." Yeah. And uh, after that, I <coughs> understood that yeah, this is uh, very funny to make it, uh, and uh, I said, "Guys, let's uh, do something." Uh, Regular. Let's make it regular. <laughs> and since that time, we started to make it day by day. So but you made a video to start off. So you started yeah. off a traditional salon, yeah. and you said we want to do something more creative. Um, yeah. And wh where did you come up with the name Hair Fucker? Uh -huh. You know, it's a very strong name, yes. but it makes me think. You know, because when I think of Russia and I think of the rebels, I think of like Pussy Riot, like something that's you know strong in your face. Is that some type of the inspiration there to say, hey, we're different? We want to do things differently. Yeah, but the, the words came from the word motherfucker. So, uh, it's uh, like <laughs> Inspiration a kind from of there. dude, uh, hey you motherfucker, yeah. and stuff like this. So, so that is why uh, we decided why we are, if we are motherfuckers, so we can be a hair fucker. Yeah. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah. It was easy and uh, it was not uh, seriously about this so right. it was ju just a joke and we didn't knew the time that it was so yeah right. now, the, now the name is all over the world mm -hmm. with social media yeah I, I can remember at Hairbrain when we first started to share work from Hairfucker mm -hmm. some people would be like oh Sam <laughs> and, it, and I, I, but as time goes on people realize that you guys are such nice creative talented people we don't get that as much anymore but don't uh, judge a book by its cover yeah yeah <laughs> but I, I understand how you mean it it's a provocation you know, это, that you're trying to do something different. Это для тех, у кого хорошее чувство юмора. Мы так выбираем своих э, клиентов и тех, с кем нам нравится работать. Маша tells that this is for them who has a good sense of humor. Right. And this is the way how we choose our clients. Because the people with a bad sense of humor, <laughs> they, if they see the hair right. part, yeah. they 
thinking about the bad and vulgar things. Right, they don't belong yes, there. Yes. It's a very clear yeah. message. Like I a mean, filter. It's a filter. It's That's a, a filter. filter. And uh, we tell about this like this is a mirror for who you are. <laughs> how do you think about hair factor is how, what kind of human you are? I think that's really interesting and if, if I want everyone to hear what he said, you know, the way that people interpret that name hair fucker is a mirror for who you are. Yeah. But so if you're offended by it, then maybe you're a classic person. But if you think it's exciting, then maybe you're a person that's right to come into the salon. So it works as like a filter for them. I hear you talking that this is the kind of work you do in the salon. This isn't, you, like, when I see your videos and I see the salon, you're doing a lot of creative work on paying clients, mm -hmm. not just on models. Yes, 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 of course. And all our models are all our clients. Yeah, she said that the, uh, all, most of the models that we use uh, for our content are the customers of the salon. Oh, that's and amazing. So yeah. if you guys heard that, most of the models, and if you see all the videos and photos they put out, those are actually clients. And I think that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. That speaks and, uh, a lot. It was impossible a few years ago when we started, but uh, we uh, just decided to choose this way and uh, work with these um, uh, bright colors because we <clears throat> think that it's not so interesting to uh, remove, to, to, to recolor from brown to brown. <laughs> it's a kind of warm, so we uh, make the pure colors. And uh, after that, we thought how to make it commercial, how to make it for clients. And uh, we understood that, uh, in fact, people really uh, want the bright colors, but they are afraid of a little bit. So right. you have to fade their fear, mm -hmm. and after you fade their fear, after you, in, you give them the inspiration, they will uh, ask uh, for this. So first year was a kind of difficult because uh, we had to find the models and uh, make these colors and make pictures of that. But after this, uh, we understand that uh, people comes to us because they see, oh wow, that's so good, so, so good. We live, uh, you know, how they tell about Saint Petersburg that this is the city of uh, 15 million shades of grey. Right, 15 million <laughs> shades of grey. Yeah. The sky so you're brightening up <laughs> Saint Petersburg. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we tell that this is a kind of medicine from the mm -hmm. depression. So uh, people has the color depression. Everyone wears black. Everyone see gray everywhere. And uh, when the and, and the people uh, they are sad. And uh, right. a lot of people are in depression. And when they look at themselves in the mirror, they see something bright on their head and it makes them happy. So you're taking it even to a much deeper level, which I think is incredible. Yeah. So this is therapy. Yeah, <laughs> therapy, color therapy. So again, we're here with Hair Fucker. Uh, they're, they've been in New York all week. They were our guests at the Hairbrain Video Awards. They won video of the year. They're taking back the bronze uh, video <laughs> and the $5,000 back to Russia to create more incredible content. We, um, Masha and Dasha, were gonna do the pre-color here and we thought it would be a good way to start. After this process is we're gonna come back and there's gonna be some hair cutting. So part two is coming up very, very soon. Is there anything else that you guys wanna say before we break? Uh, yeah, we need to heat it uh, for 20 minutes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Mandy. So heat for 20 minutes and then we're going to wash this out. In about a half an hour we'll be back for the haircut. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, thanks. We'll see you back in a half an hour with Hairfucker Studio here in New York City.